New at 10, a stolen vehicle was pulled out of the Ohio River in Brookport, Illinois today. Massac County Sheriff's Office says the 2011 Orange Camaro was stolen in 2020 from Paducah. It was found by YouTuber Trey Lombardo, who posted a video of the recovery on his channel, Narked Divers. Here's a look at that video. You can see the car after it's being pulled out of the water. The Sheriff's Office says no one was in the vehicle and no injuries are reported. It was a joint effort between the Massac County Sheriff's Office and Paducah Police Department to recover the vehicle. What's happening, y'all? It's Trey, Narc Divers. So I am down at Brookport, Illinois, looking for a missing man. I'm looking for Shatarius Pearson. He went missing on March 7th, 2023. He's 25 years old from the Paducah, Kentucky area. He was last seen at a family member's house on or about March 7th, 2023. He was last seen as a passenger in a white car with tinted windows. That's all the information I got. However, I was snooping around on Facebook and about the time he disappeared, there's a missing person report. And someone was talking about the Brookport Bridge and asking about what happened on the Brookport Bridge based off of someone's comments. And the administrator or someone that runs that site for the Facebook group kept deleting the comments. And then the one here previously coming up on the anniversary of him going missing, the same person was commenting, but they were, the user was like deleted and the comment was deleted and someone had replied and it wasn't deleted and it said what happened on the bridge and there was talking about the brookport bridge that's right there so i'm thinking two things so i don't have a lot to go off of it's possibly possible that if something happened to them they could have dumped the vehicle or two they have found people down here underneath this bridge before uh, human remains like several years later so we were just past that year of March 7th, give or take, they said, of 2023. So it's 2024 now, and we're out scanning. I'm gonna hit all this, scan, do my intro a little bit different. Super choppy, had an issue getting the boat out here, but all is well, and that did not work out. So we're gonna do a scan and go from there. A lot of debris in the water but i will say the current of I mean the current the uh the depth is down compared to what it used to be or what it had been so we're just doing a scan i'm gonna make my way back over here try to scan as best as i can it's not gonna be a great image as you can see the boat is a rocking it's choppy got a little bit of barge traffic they're even going pretty slow they're going up river um, so that is east, and then behind us is west. So I actually had to didn't dock the boat very good, so I had to kind of park the truck there just to get back on the boat. So I don't know, they're like clearing stuff out too, but he went missing and just vanished. Last seen, white car, tinted windows. I'm not sure what that is, looks like a rock. Not a lot to go off of, unfortunately. Yeah, I am twisting and jiving. So hopefully, normally we get a good image coming up river, but what you see is what you got. Not good. Boat just turning left and right. That was a log that we split. I don't know why my down image is doing this now. There we go. Let's do that. Oh. Why is it doing that? Sorry, I'm having issues all of a sudden and I wouldn't. Oh, there we go. All right, let's just leave it like that. Hopefully it's... I did this last time. Weird. Rocking the boat, and I don't like it, but it's doing my best. Operate the camera, operate the motor. This is not 
not a very big boat, but I think we got a great setup for this season. And we're getting pushed. I would like to fix my down imaging. Just do auto. If it'll stay like that, I'll be happy with it, but it keeps dropping out. And I don't know why. It's just weird. Whoa. That's an upside down car. Right there on down imaging. Okay, so down imaging is working. We just split it. We just split it. Wow. All right, so vantage point. I think that the entrance, give or take. So you can see my, my, uh, oh, my prop thrust there, the bubbles. That is like very, 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 very close to the bank. Part of me hopes that, you know, this is just, a, I don't know. Like for, if it's him, for it to be this, like, for, for, for it to be here the whole time, I, I just, I don't know. Okay, we just split it, vantage point. That is a car. That is 100% a car. You got four four tires. I split it. I know exactly where it's at. All right. I really pray. That, I really hope this is just, just like a stolen car or something, just right off the bank. And if he was here the whole time. Anyway, I'm gonna get this marked. I don't have a cameraman. So wish me luck. Love y'all. I'll be back on here since we get a mark. Okay. All right, y'all. I got it marked. A little difficult by yourself with the wake, or else it'd been very simple. But there she is. There's the car. Upside down, tire, tire, I got three or four tires. There she is right there. One, two, three, four spoke, maybe. Um, so I'm just gonna probably start up here and float down to it. That's my goal. But yeah, that's definitely a car. be out just a smidgen the way the ropes uh, going that way so not gonna be the best image all this rocking and bouncing I'm surprised I've seen it like I did but buoys car all right so yeah it's right underneath us like I said that image is definitely distorted because all the bouncing and rocking question that it's a vehicle so I guess the next step let me look at the see how deep it is for sure I don't know if I want to trailer the boat just so I don't have to worry about it flowing away or put the prop up and all that stuff and the transducer You guys can see me moving the motor we're going left right left right trying to keep it straight so yeah it's just to the south that's a lot better image so upside down all right y'all let me get donned up and uh dive it all right y'all get ready to dive on this vehicle dive flags up should be close enough did see a boat down there so i might take it with me it just depends i just don't tangle up in a bunch of mess but i think you're good to rock and roll so love y'all bring some answers today see y'all in a minute
my uh let's bring up some answers. Uh BCD is aired up. Oh, it's cold. We're from sweating to freezing. Up my back. 50 degrees my butt. Alright, I think it's pretty good. We're going up. 
Wow. Got particles. That's the license plate, guys, I promise. So, Lombardo, it's not an ongoing emergency, but I scuba dive and I found a vehicle in the water here at the Brookport uh, boat ramp. You found a vehicle at the Brookport boat ramp? Yeah, in the water. It's about eight, eight foot, ten foot down. I scuba dive, I dove on it, it had button muscles and stuff on it, but I got the plate off of it. Hey, what's the plate? It is a Kentucky plate. It is 7735 and then H. Henry Young. So it's Henry over Young. And it's a Kentucky plate. It's a Friends of Cold Plate or something like that. All right, uh, we'll get someone down there. All right, thank you. Okay. Bye. Summer. So, calling it in. That's the quickest 911 call I ever went through. So, cops are coming. Um, as far as the vehicle, you're at the, the ramp now. Yeah. Uh, I'm kind of trying to coordinate what needs to be done. Is it close enough that if, you know, a record over there could, if we got like a, a sheriff's office diver out there, could we hook up to it and watch it in or is it oh, too far out? Oh, no, for sure. It's uh, eight foot deep and probably, I'm terrible at yardage. It's very close to the bank. Okay. Like, and I don't, uh, well, I don't think you would need a rotator or anything. It's upside down, so you, if you want to, if you would want to drag it, you could hook to the wheels for like super easy. Okay. Um, was there any? Did you see in the vehicle? So the car. Okay. So it's upside down. The front windshield is very low to the ground where you can't get to it. It felt like all the windows were up, and then okay. like it's, it's not silted in, but it's very low to the ground. If that makes sense. Okay. So it's, uh, everything felt like it was you, intact. Okay. Are you able to stand by over there? Yeah, I'm hanging uh, out. Then? This is what I do. Okay. Well, man, I sure appreciate it, and uh, we're kind of trying to figure out the, you know, kind of pulling out the chains uh, to figure out where it. it goes to. Uh, it's uh, in an odd spot. Um, but we'll have somebody to get an echo back. All right, thank you very much. All right, thank you. Bye. 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 What's happening, y'all? So everybody is here, and we've got a Camaro that was stolen in 2020 two-door obviously since Camaro which makes sense why while I was doing my search while well, I felt a little bit different I don't know if this is the first two-door I found or not I want to say this is the first two-door besides the S10 but as far as a car everybody's here we are waiting to see what the game plan is and then I think we're gonna send out the dive team I'm waiting on a rotator or a tow truck I don't think there's not a rotator but I will let you guys know exactly what's gonna happen love y'all very much it's been a great day all right, y'all. So we got everybody here. We've got several law enforcement agencies from Kentucky, law enforcement agencies from Illinois. We've got the tow truck here. And this is a uh, yeah, rollback, and we fast. have a safety diver from the Paducah, Kentucky area. Work. We're all ready to rock and roll. Yeah, getting some straps rigged up. Minute. Got a smaller clevis with me. Oh, they didn't have the big boy like we usually like to use, but getting ready to jump in the water and get it rigged up and. You guys will see Camaro here in a little bit. That'll work. Got the straps in hand. Heading on out into the river to rig this car up. Made it to the buoys. Grab the line, got the straps in one hand with the clevis attached, make my way down to the bottom.
current was very, very, very forgiving. Visibility not so much, but it's quite normal where we're at. But I'll take no visibility and a great current any day. Got the straps rigged on both tires, meeting in the middle and then conjoining the clevis. I shortened this up, but coming up out of the water, getting ready to hook up the hook to the clevis, make my way back out for the second time. Eventually end up getting the clevis on. There wasn't a, the clevis was too big for the hook to click or connect correctly. So I had to take the hook and then wrap it and hook it to the cable, which I did not want to do. Like I said, this current was very forgiving this time. Visibility not so much, but all in all, it was an easy dive, a safe dive. Looks like now that we have the hook tied to the clevis and the straps, it's ready to start pulling the car out. A little bit easier, so, thanks to the McCracken County Sheriff's Office, the Duke is still here. So after this time, uh, yeah, we ended up having to reposition the car and reconnect about five times, and I believe we broke about four or five cables. So to shorten this up and not have to show you all the reconnects and the car being pulled out. We actually ended up pulling the car into the side of the bank and then we had to connect on the opposite side to the front end and then flip the car completely over and at that time the vehicle started to come out up out of the water and the tow truck just still had a heck of a time getting it up on the bank. There's a lot of weight in that car. And you will see the car here in three, two, one. So that is Camaro. So before we just jump into the Camaro, please, please give Jacobs Mechanical Service and Towing a shout out or a review on Facebook. 618-564-2140. If you ever need a tow in that area for Port Illinois, they did an awesome job and they do not get enough credit. So please show them some love and support. And here's the Camaro. So that is the car. Check it out. Oh yeah, gasoline. Normally we got dry. I got a dry suit. It's a hazmat suit, but it leaks, so I dove wet. Heck yeah, that would look cool in my yard. Ronnie's getting old. Keeps forgetting dive gear. <laughs> Ringo said you're getting old. He didn't hear me. It is fixable. I wonder if it runs. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Bisbee. That is awesome. Look at the sun drop on that. This should be on like, this should be the pace car. I don't see no crawdads. Got the back, got the front. I don't see no rule. No, it's all caved in. It's full. They'd have to hose that one out. This was a sweet car. Magnets underneath the wheel. The magnets. Under All right, y'all. It is a wrap. Got the boat going. The lights are awesome. Got the vehicle pulled out of the water. Had a successful day. It wasn't who we were looking for. Had a little bit of hope. But because of you all, we're able to do this. Love you all very much. I am absolutely loving this Garmin. But thanks for tuning in. And I appreciate it. I love you all very much. Till next time, it's Trey, Dark Divers. See y'all beautiful people in the water.